Dante Taylor. Please raise your hand and I'll call on you. Wes? Uh, Wes, go ahead. Yeah, Alante, I know that um, y'all had a couple of, of, of bad penalties a couple weeks ago against Pitt, ha had some more tonight that were pretty unfortunate. I mean, how frustrating is it for sort of execution and, and penalties and discipline to be the issues? Uh, it was very uh, disappointing. You know, you kind of want to win those aspects of the game. You don't also, you also don't want to make it close, right? So you kind of want to be there early to kind of make that play. But, um, you know, sometimes you just can't control things like that. You just got to, you know, clear it and just go to the next play. Guys, make sure you're using the raise your hand function. I don't see anybody's hand raised. All right, Chris, we'll go to you, and then we'll go to Ryan. Yeah, Alante, you guys seem like you did a pretty good job of uh, stopping the running backs for the most part on the night. Um, you know, the quarterback obviously seemed like he got loose a few times. Uh, do you think they do, were just doing a good job of disguising what they were trying to do on offense? Uh, you know, Emory was pretty good coming into this. Seemed like that was a, a definitely a point of interest to try and contain the QB as much as possible. Uh, we, you know, coming into halftime, they were running everything we knew they were going to run. Um, didn't really change much up. You know, we just got a tackle at the end of the day. Um, you know, Emory did. We knew that we had to contain him. Uh, kind of had the same issue against Pittsburgh. So that's something we need, we need to tighten up this week. You know, no matter who you play, if the quarterback can get loose, you don't contain the quarterback, he's going to make plays with his feet. So, you know, the emphasis was on stopping the run. And I feel like we did a pretty good job, like you said, with the running backs. But as far as containing the quarterback, we didn't do so well. And we just got to wrap up and make more tackles. Adam? Kind of sticking with that run defense, I think Florida just – Average a little under five yards of carry in the first half and then almost nine in the second half. Just what changed with y'all's rush defense? Uh, I mean, we just didn't execute as well. Like I said, we missed a lot of tackles, I feel, in the second half as well. Um, we just got to come out better. Um, we got to be able to put games together, you know, from the first quarter all the way to the fourth quarter. Adam, go ahead. Yeah, Alante, you could say you guys played a really good one half and a bad second half. Um, or how do you balance those two? Which team is this? What the team that played well or the team that missed opportunities late? Uh, I mean, really both, I guess. I mean, you watch the three last three games we had. I feel like we played all four quarters. Uh, this game, we didn't do that. And some we need to work on this week. Uh, you know, we got to win the four minutes before the half. And then also when we come out, we got to, you know, we knew defense was going to be up first. So, you know, a couple of plays like that and touchdown, we can't, we can't allow that to happen. We need to get another three and now to start off the second quarter or sorry, the third quarter. Back to West. Yeah, Alante, what, what was the mood at halftime when y'all went in there? I mean, I know that you were in the game there, but but also there were a couple of mistakes there that it kept it from maybe y'all being in the lead. What was sort of the, the the mood there and the mindset at halftime? I mean, we was positive. You know, everybody had a good mindset. You know, coaches made sure we stay even kill, uh, not too high, not too low. Uh, we knew that we had another half of football to play. But on top of that, you know, we knew we had them by the next, and we just had to come out and do what we were supposed to do. And that we didn't execute well. So, um, you know, go back to the film room. Uh, and just see things that we messed up on and get ready for a good team in Missouri next week. Jimmy? I want to tell you, I'll take you through the uh, situation where you forced that fumble toward the end of the half. They were driving, and you came over there and stripped the ball. Take me through that play. Uh, yeah, so I was just playing a trap to the field. Uh, kind of knew it was fourth and two, fourth and three, and I didn't want him to get the first down. So I kind of trapped a little too early. So Henry seen it and kind of just made a whole shot. Uh, to Copeland and I made sure well Trayvon Flowers made a good stop on him and I just came in there to finish up the tackle and you know we always talk about getting the ball out and I knew it was a good opportunity because I seen the ball loose and I just took my opportunity and it happened. Wes did you have another one? Yes uh, Alante I know that y'all y'all kind of been here before right um, you know starting starting the year the way you wanted to and then it kind of falling apart. How, how do you make sure that doesn't happen again? Where do you think the, the mindset of this team can, can be from that standpoint? Yeah, we won't fall apart and start off with that. Uh, we're going to get closer as a team. We're going to uh, go back and watch the film. We're also going to build that bond, continue to build that bond. And, you know, come next week, you know, we'll, we'll handle that when that comes. But one thing I will say is we will not fall apart this year. And you can quote me on that. Any more questions for Alante? All right. Thank you, Alante. Appreciate it. We'll have Javante Payton here in a few minutes.